saying. It's going on all the time. Like at night when I lay down, I get this terrible sour taste in my mouth. I mean, it's horrible. It's not normal. Millions of people suffer from a condition called gastroesophageal reflux disease. If you experience frequent heartburn, a sour taste in the mouth, or a burning sensation in your throat, you may have gastroesophageal reflux disease, or reflux for short. To understand reflux, we have to know how our upper digestive tract normally works. The food you eat travels from your mouth to your stomach through a narrow muscular tube called the esophagus. The esophagus passes through an opening in a sheet-like muscle called the diaphragm. This opening is called the hiatus. Below the hiatus, the esophagus empties into the stomach. Normally, a muscular valve called the lower esophageal sphincter closes the esophagus. This keeps the contents of the stomach from flowing back or refluxing into the esophagus. But if the sphincter is weak, acid and other stomach contents can reflux into the esophagus. The normal anatomy of the hiatus also seems to play a role in preventing reflux. Sometimes part of the stomach pokes through the hiatus, causing a hiatal hernia. This variation in anatomy may contribute to reflux. When stomach contents reflux into the lower esophagus, the symptoms that may occur include heartburn, chest pain, sour or bitter regurgitation, a burning sensation in the throat, and nighttime coughing. If left untreated, reflux may result in serious problems. Severe reflux can cause inflammation of the lining of the esophagus, also called esophagitis. This inflammation can result in ulcers or a narrowing of the esophagus, called a stricture. Many people have occasional heartburn. Usually it quickly passes, by itself or after taking an antacid. But if symptoms become increasingly severe, or if they recur frequently and antacids do not bring relief, then reflux may require medical attention. Describe the pain for me. It's sort of a burning. And, and, and there's a sour taste in the back of my mouth. Any particular types of food cause you the most trouble? Oh, definitely. The fatty foods, uh, fried foods, fast foods sometimes spicy foods, and chocolate. When you get your doctor will take a history of your symptoms and examine you. Usually, this will provide enough information to make a diagnosis and begin a treatment program. Some patients, however, will need additional testing. If your symptoms are not typical of reflux, your reflux does not respond once treatment is begun, or your doctor suspects your reflux may have caused injury to your esophagus, then you may undergo some tests. In one test, you drink a solution containing barium. X-rays are then taken to show the precise shape of the inside of your esophagus. This can detect the presence of a stricture. A test called pH monitoring helps determine the severity of your reflux by measuring, over a 24-hour period, how frequently acid refluxes into your esophagus. An endoscopy allows visual examination of your esophagus. This will reveal the severity of inflammation. Once your doctor has completed an evaluation of your condition, he or she will determine a treatment program to control your symptoms. Reflux disease is usually a chronic condition. While there is no true cure, as long as you follow your doctor's recommendations, you should be able to control your symptoms. Your treatment program will probably include steps that fall into three categories. Dietary changes, other lifestyle changes, 
and medications. One of the most important things you can do is change your diet to avoid foods that aggravate reflux. Certain foods and beverages can worsen reflux by increasing acid production, by weakening the sphincter, or by further irritating the esophagus. Foods to avoid include fatty and fried foods, spicy foods, chocolate, peppermint, carbonated beverages, tea, alcohol, and coffee, including decaf. Adjusting some aspects of your lifestyle will also be an important part of your treatment program. Being overweight seems to contribute to reflux, so your doctor may recommend you lose weight. Wearing looser clothes can also help. If you smoke, you should quit since smoking appears to contribute to the problem. Eating habits can play a role in reflux as well. Rushing through meals can add to reflux. So you'll want to maintain regular meal times and take your time eating. It's also a good idea to eat several small meals throughout the day rather than one or two large ones. If reflux occurs at night, your doctor may recommend raising the head of your bed about six inches. This helps keep stomach contents where they belong. And it helps not to eat or drink anything for two to three hours before lying down or going to sleep. Making changes like these will require real effort, but remember, in most cases, they work. Medications are another important part of your treatment. There are three types that help reduce the symptoms of reflux. Your doctor may suggest you use over-the-counter antacids for relief of occasional symptoms. Antacids provide immediate relief by neutralizing stomach acid, but they only work for a short period of time. Since acid is the major cause of inflammation in the esophagus, your doctor may prescribe acid suppressors, which reduce the amount of acid produced in your stomach. To be effective in preventing reflux, acid suppressors must be taken on a regular schedule. You may also be prescribed prokinetic drugs. These prevent reflux by helping the sphincter to work better and by helping the stomach to empty faster. In most cases, dietary changes, lifestyle changes, and medications do work to control reflux symptoms and prevent complications. For a few patients with severe symptoms or complications, surgery may be necessary. Such surgery is usually effective in preventing reflux and eliminating the need for medication. When gastroesophageal reflux disease is diagnosed early, symptoms can usually be alleviated and complications prevented. Dad, will you come and play catch with me? Oh, yes, of course, sweetheart. I'll be there in just a minute, okay? Regardless of how good you feel, remember that if you return to old habits, your reflux will probably return too. You know better than anyone how unpleasant reflux can be. Watch what you eat, make the lifestyle changes your doctor recommends, and use your medications. You'll soon be feeling better.